Hi, my name is Henry, and in this video, I'll be answering a question from one of my students in PMM school. For context, the student is a PMM at a startup. She feels hesitant to share her ideas because she fears the consequences of them not working out. And part of this challenge is because she currently works at a startup where there's limited opportunities to do thorough research. As a result, her ideas are often based on past experiences and a few customer interactions. So the question here is, how do you build confidence as a PMM? And how do you push for opportunities to do more thorough research? Here, I'll give a two-part answer. The first step is to change the mindset from being fear-based to opportunity-based. When it comes to sharing and executing on your idea, there's only two outcomes. You either succeed or you learn something new. For example, when I was at Springboard, an ed tech company, one of the projects that I worked on was marketing a UX design course. At the time, I saw that the market was really crowded with UX design courses, and all of the courses had the same name, which was UX Foundations. And because of this, I saw an opportunity to differentiate our course by changing the name of our course to something else. I did some customer interviews and found that the best name to go with was UX Essentials. However, when we relaunched the course as UX Essentials, we saw that applications and enrollment both dropped. And that's when I did an A-B test to compare UX Essentials with UX Foundations. And we found that UX Foundations perform better in driving conversions on the website. I eventually changed the name of the course from UX Essentials back to UX Foundations. From this, I learned that sometimes it's okay to go along with everyone else versus trying to stand out. In other words, clarity was more important than differentiation. Now moving on to the second part of the question, which is how do you make a case to do more thorough research at your startup? The answer here is quite simple. As a product marketer, your main job is to be the customer voice. What you can do here is you can go to your manager and your founders and ask them to see if they have detailed customer personas in place today. If they don't, that's when you can make the case to build detailed customer personas to help your company build, sell, and market better. In other words, by understanding your customer's point of view and journey, you'll be able to better prioritize what features to build, what talking points to use, and what marketing messages to convey. You can do this by doing qualitative and quantitative research of your existing customers to find out their background, pain points, discovery channels, and evaluation criteria. Once you've built out your customer personas, you can do internal training with your product and sales team to help them better understand your customers. You can also record the training and incorporate it as part of your new hire onboarding. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about product marketing, check out the Product Marketing School at pmmschool.com. There, I'll teach you everything about product marketing, and I also host a monthly office hours where you can ask me all your questions and connect with other aspiring and new PMMs. I hope to see you there. See you.